So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of 3 Random Games. You guys smell that and take another whiff. <laughs> For those of you that have the uneducated notes, that is the smell of three completely random games coming up, guys, with the potential of some being that complete doo-doo. For this episode, all three of the games I think are gonna be slightly horror-themed. We've got one which is called Dora is Dead, so I think we know what's about to happen right there. Then the other two are completely random indie games based on horror scenarios, and I just wanna get straight into this one. So with that said, guys, if you are looking forward to this episode, I think you know exactly what to do, by the way. Shoot, shoot for 10k, go on, let's do it. So this first game we're playing here, guys, is called Dora is Not Dead Remastered, and this is a Dave Microwaves games, which I think we played about four or so months ago. I remember the last experience with this game being kind of terrifying, and we also didn't proceed to beat it, so I mean, who knows what's gonna happen on this occasion. Probably the same thing. <laughs> Alright, let's get this crap started anyway. I say crap, you know? I, you know, I don't mean crap, guys. Come on, not right now. Okay, find a way to actually escape this place. So simply we're in... Oh, thought we were in like a confined room. So that must be our way out. And I guess the arrows on the floor placed by Dora is telling us which way to go to find the items to get the way out. And I guess it could be like warehouse stuff, like maybe you bring the cardboard boxes through here and I'm just overthinking it. Probably that one. Okay, Dora, let's see exactly what you got popping up your sleeves right now, huh? Nope. So another barricaded way right there. Let's keep on moving through. Big old empty storage spaces tipped over shelves like this is the sort of person we're dealing with here, guys. Oh, I see. So they were drawing the arrows and they must have slipped with the paint. So, you know, no problem right there. Simple problem, I guess. Uh, they, they really tripped with the paint. In fact, they kept tripping with the paint. What the heck? Locked door right here. A gate. This looks like my way out. That it does. So I guess we gotta try and get things sorted from here on out. Now, my question still stands. What the heck were we even doing in this place at this hour, you know? I guess we got knocked out. So what were we doing before that? Probably snooping around. So maybe we do deserve this after all. Probably not, though. I mean, having Dora chase us down, I don't think anyone deserves this crap. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's Dora. So she's not so dead after all. Though uh, very, very close by the looks of things. Okay, we're gonna go back inside straight away then. Which way? Wait, they all open up? I guess as a result because we've already seen that. Uh, oh no! Was that Dora? Yeah, and you're very late with that one, so good job. Freak. You... What does that say? Killed me, now you're next swiper? Bro, calm down, right? Oh my god! I'm going. I'm actually done, guys. You can play the rest of the games, okay? Just have fun. I was joking, I'm not. <laughs> Ooh, this is kind of like a nice little horror experience, you know? Kind of spooky. I'm into this. Wait, where does she start from? Is she inside? Oh no, was that Dora? Uh, yeah, it was. Well, from a distance, let me see if I can see her. I can't. It's very, very dark. <laughs> oh, there she's okay. So she always catches you guys. So it seems like every time Dora has to see you at this point, and I don't think you can lose her. So uh, let's go the same way we went last time. Check around here quickly. So we open this door, do a swift dodge because that dude's in there. Oh yeah. Bro, where are you going? Like, there's no sails on the key. You've missed them. Okay, we can keep moving through anyway. So there's nothing in here, but Dora is straight on our backs. A dead end. And that looks like probably the real Dora, yeah? This corner here. And give it a freaking ankle break, all right? Actually, uh, her ankle's already broke, so what am I even saying? Okay, this way here is opened up as well. See what's actually popping. Okay, long corridor and another room. All right, Dora, yeah, I know you've seen me, all right? You can stop. Box is tipped over. Hmm, there's a door back there as well. Let's have a quick look in here. Key inside. Find a hammer to remove the nails. All right, so that's our objective, clearly. All right, looking around this room here. A lot of empty storage. Like, this place just gone under or something, you know? It's not too good for this company. I think in there. Okay, we'll keep going this way for now, but we're probably gonna have to backtrack in a sec. Watch for the monkey, so open the door. Okay, no monkey, good. Okay, still looking around here. Bro, can we actually take this thing? What? No? The freak is that, like a fire blazing? Okay, let me check this out. That does not look too good. And uh, why don't I just climb over the wall, by the way, using this thing? Bro. Yeah, bro, come on, you can sneak under there. Are you kidding me right now? You just don't want to escape. Just admit it. You're kind of into this crap. Okay, bring her this way here. And just simply dodge around her. So, Dora isn't actually that hard to avoid. But I guess it's a case of uh, maybe if you get, like, clotheslined in, then you can get snapped up kind of easy. Okay. What the heck was that? Um... That was the weirdest crap I've ever seen. Like, blood trail to here? What is this? I'm gonna tear your guts out and devour them like a savage. Okay, let me check around here quickly. In this room. Yikes, I think it's gonna loop round, guys. I'm getting really lost. Ah! Freak, another Dora? How many Doras are you murdering right now, you know? Don't be there, monkey. Don't do it. Okay, if I go in there, I'm dead. Ooh, I might be dead now anyway. Oh, that was tight. All right, so I'm gonna have to run a loop with Dora behind me. Then I'm gonna go back in there, turn the valve, and see what happens as a result. Oh my god, okay. Avoid the monkey. There's gotta be an item in there or something. So I guess I'll keep going this way. I'm blind to exactly where I am. I have no idea. This feels like I'm going the right way, though. I say feel because I have no idea. Here, here, here. Yeah, this is it. Now, if I'm quick, I should be okay. But this feels sketch as freak, dude. I'm being honest. Okay, so turn that from the hammer. That will come in handy. If she traps me, though, I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna be mad, okay? 
I'm nearly mad. Not quite. Okay, I'm happy. It's fine. Okay, now where the freak was the hammer room? I think it was back this way here. Okay, key inside. Use the hammer on the planks. Let's go. All right. Go, go, go. Do it, don't do it. Bro, have I got time? I think so. So snatch the key. All right. Though that was easy time to get out of here. So let's go back to the Stein gate. Though if I remember correctly, this isn't our solution. So, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. So this is our way back to the Stein gate. I got completely lost for about five minutes, but we're going to pretend that didn't happen, guys. What you saw was the jump cut. So that's exactly what went down. So we used the key on the gate, but it doesn't work. Wait, what? The key doesn't fit? <laughs> Okay, who the freak is that dude? I gotta find the real gate key. And how do you suppose we do that, huh? Yes! Over there. We gotta get over there. Okay, now I roughly remember. So as long as the door is a good distance from us, we should be okay, I think. Okay, so this way here, and we're probably gonna dip through here. Don't be nothing here, please. Okay, let's go this way. And we're outside, nice. Leave me alone, Dora, I just wanna swipe your key. Yes. Okay, well, key swipe, there we go. Okay, I got enough time to actually avoid Dora. But if I remember now, the monkey thing comes for you. I can't remember his name. If I get close here, I'd be ready. Ready, okay. <laughs> Hold it! Okay, I don't know where he's going again, guys, but it doesn't matter. We'll run a loop around here. This is where I got to last time, so I don't know what's about to happen from this point on. This could be bad. Okay, we dip this way here. Gotta be real precise with our movements now, because this could be the ending. Let's just go back to the front door and see what happens. Guys, my bets are on that. This is not gonna fit either, though. I'm being real. Let me try the key. It worked! And that's it! <laughs> Next game, guys. So this next game we're checking out is called Horror on Holiday Rails, and it's probably gonna be a holiday rail thing where there's gonna be a horror happening. Like, come on, guys. Number one, collect the presents. You can only carry one at a time. Bring them to the back of the train and hide under any tables by approaching them. Okay, don't let her find you. Who the freak is her? Bruh, why are we trapped on the train? And secondly, bruh, why is there a female trying to snap our neck up? Go ahead and open the door. On my face. I'm really intelligent like that, guys. Like, leave me alone. So, simply, we gotta get the presents. There she is. Bro, she looks janky as freak. Um, okay. Bro, you see the hair game right there, though? What the? <laughs> I mean, look like a magnet, guys. Come on. Wow. I mean, you've definitely seen better days, right? Your, um, your hair stuck like your face, and that's not a compliment. So, what now? Do, does it just kind of stand up like this forever? Um, I, I guess I'll wait. Why are you so upset? Okay, and she's done. She had a moment. Bro, her hair game is insane. Teach me, though. Okay, so you know what? While she's going that way, what about I have a little strat, okay, which I'm thinking in my head is to get the presents and bring them somewhat toward the front. How about that? Uh, what? It's, it's really not that intense. I'll take the present. Uh, holy crap! Whoa! That is actually kind of freaky, but this isn't though. That's, uh, you know, this is just what it is. Oh, I get why she's so upset. We're stealing the presents that she spent all the time wrapping with her feet because she's got no arms. No wonder, it all makes sense. Also kind of explains the hair, miss. Okay, she's had a moment, so I'm done. Oh my God! Whoa. <laughs> all right, so when she charges at you or she's like nearby, don't go out from undercover. Okay, so let me peek right now. Okay, I'm still underneath here. I gotta be so careful. I don't even know which one I'm meant to be going now in this thing. Okay, the audio's gone, so I assume it's safe. Okay, yeah, she's still walking that way. Whatever. Yo, can this open though? Um, the freak. What's going on? Oh, is there only two gifts that I need to get, and that's it? If so, that's gonna be so easy, right? Oh, there's a third one there. Okay, so there is multiple. Okay, get nice and close. Now I'm gonna dip under here, and I'm gonna have to wait. Keep going, keep going. This is risk. Okay, she's right there. So if I dip under here, too late. Okay, so she knows I'm under the table, but she can't crouch. Whoa, this is really intense, guys. I, I need to be so careful with this one because I feel like I'm gonna probably die if I don't, you know, uh, not concentrate. I'm, I, I mean, right, calm tranquility of just simply the train. So that's enough distance. I thought she was running at me right there. I crapped myself. Okay, so bring the present back here, I guess. There you go. No idea who's ringing the bell, but I don't care. To be honest, I should be really thinking about why I got on a train with a crazy woman and presents everywhere. That alone doesn't make any sense either. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh man, look at her running. Look at those janky legs. Look at those arms. <laughs> Alright, duck and dodge, same thing. Here we go. Place that one there. Behind the back. Bro, go. There you go. So, I've got one more, I think. Oh my god. Okay, get under here. Oh boy. I don't know why that scares me so much. I really don't. Hello? So where's she at? I think she's on the other side of the wall, so there you go. Yeah, yeah, I get why you're crying. You can't even freaking find me correctly this time. It is kind of emotional. Bro, I swear this last present was like in the final carriage of the uh, train. So I see nothing that stops crouching under tables. What are you doing? I can't see it anywhere, unless maybe it's in this one. In the corner. Oh, I see you right there. Okay, she sees me too. Get under, get under, get under! Wait, bro, is she stuck somewhere again? This lady has issues, guys, I'm just saying. To be honest, maybe this is just a soundtrack of riding on a train. Maybe we're not actually that fond of it. Maybe the lady being close has nothing to do with this even playing. Oh, boy. I think she glitched out, guys. 
she um she glitched out. I guess I'll take the present. So I got the green gift. All right, let's go. Oh wow. Well, this is awkward, isn't it? Because uh, you know I kind of need to get past to put the present there. So what uh, what do? I wonder if I could like slide into here quick. Um. She's completely lost it. That was obvious before. Okay, I guess we'll put the third gift here. Oh, that was fantastic. Escape to the front of the train. It's gonna be no problem. She's lost it. Now, I'm actually kind of scared she's gonna jump at me or something. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, thanks. Okay, so why, do, why did I even, like, spend the time putting the presents to the back of the train anyway? Why was I doing that? What am I gonna achieve from even doing this as, like, an ending? Okay, we got music. What's popping? Ah... Uh, horror on holiday rails. So, we, we put the... Presents at the back of the train for no reason. We should have uh, put them at the front. Escape with the presents and. Nice, we have no logic. Next game. Okay, so this last game is called Thirstiest Time of the Year. I think it's a joke about some LeBron James Sprite Cranberry meme, so uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on. Being alone on Christmas night isn't that bad when you think about it. Given that you have the whole house in your possession, well, you gotta see the positives, okay? Wait, what? Hold on. I thought it was alone. Someone's knocking on the door. Uh, hold up, two secs. Can I see them outside the window? I can jump, but I still can't see them. Okay, by the way, these are the worst doors ever. Like, please don't tell me you've got one of these on your bathroom as well. That, that was actually a joke. They actually have the same style door on the bathroom. So, uh, yeah, I got the iron line match right there. Wow, interesting room right now. Also kind of nice, you know. This house is pretty damn good. All right, look at this. We're living that pretty good life, clearly. So let's go downstairs. Got the TV on. It looks like the Grinch is still playing, and we're well stocked up for Christmas. I mean, now let me just munch on one of those right now. Yeah, yeah, give me a sec. Uh, why well, I got a double bed downstairs as well, though? You know, one thing that this home is missing is curtains, because, you know, everyone can see exactly what's going on inside, especially with the lights that we got popping. But let's go on through here. So, someone's at the door. Hey. Um. Want a spray oh, no, cranberry? Let James in Cranberry Ghost. You should hide and find a way to deal with him. Um. Want a spray cranberry? Nah, I'm good, man. Want a spray cranberry? I've just said I'm good, man. Don't ask me again, else I'm gonna get angry. Weird rumor I know, but I heard he fears Fanta. We aren't losing anything trying this out. We, I remember we still got some in the kitchen. Okay, well, we're just simply gonna... Can this man literally back off before I stick a baseball bat through the window? What the freak? Did he just bust down my door? Because I'm about... Bro, he's in my house. He's actually in my house. Wait, which way? Um, this is awkward. He's just making his way upstairs. He's about to use the bathroom or something. He is busting up my Want house. The last thing I'm gonna give you is a Sprite Cranberry, okay? Okay, that should do it. Throw the- OH MY GOD! He, he just- he punched me because of a Sprite Cranberry, guys. Want a sprite oh my god, I opened the door- uh, Bro, why you run like Naruto? <laughs> Alright, look, you don't have to bust down the door. It was open already? What the fr- OH MY GOD! Oh jeez, okay, now I gotta run. This is actually freaking me out and I don't get why. Can I cl I can't close- He's busting down everything. In my house. I mean, look, take it, okay? I'm going to the gas station. Yeah, LeBron, where is the gas station? I can't remember. I think he thinks I'm still in my house, so I got time to go this way here. But I don't know if this is going to be the direction of the gas station. Also, next year, take inspiration from this, okay? This is the sort of protection we need from this dude. You can hear in the distant him just, like, breaking everything in my house, okay? I'm not even mad. I'm just kind of happy I'm alive, guys, that's all. Wait, is that him there? Uh, I mean, I'm running. I guess this isn't the right way or something? Because, um, I, I don't see any solution here. I think he's actually gone away. So... What the freak is this? Do I literally just keep running? Wait, he stopped chasing me, so... If I technically kept running, why isn't this a victory? I've kind of done what I needed to do by escaping. But I guess the question remains, where am I going to? This road that seemingly leads nowhere. It's actually a pretty good description of exactly this. Okay, hang on, guys, hang on. Gotta bring the mic in. It's actually a really good depiction of the situation I'm in. I've got LeBron James in my house. I'm trying to give me Sprite Cranberry, which I don't want. I don't know what else to do. This is weird. Okay, I got a fart, by the way. There we go. Hey, well, I made it to the edge of the world. This is, uh, definitely interesting. <laughs> okay. And I'm free. I did it. I escaped the dude. And that's it. Eternal freeness and eternal darkness as well if I look down. Apart from that one dot there. Maybe that's the gas station. And that's where I'm headed to, right? Okay, we're gonna restart this, guys. I think I broke it. Want a spray wow, you see that crap? Okay, so throw that in. Then I'm gonna make a move. I might have to use another one. We'll see. I think I killed him. Okay, now he's back up. Right, I'm gonna have to throw another one. Or am I good? Yeah, he's just gonna keep breaking up my house. Okay. You can hear him running at you as well. <laughs> okay, so get him close. Get him close. Now throw it about now. Okay, that should slow him down. That looks like a gas station. If I He's doing the running thing again. I don't think there's anything I can do here. Because if you throw a fan, I can't add him. All it does is kind of pause him for a sec. But this, that just breaks the game. Like, he gets quicker. Like that. So, th 
I mean, we're dead. Okay, guys, remember the first thing where I fell off the map? Yeah, that's my victory. Okay, fight me. Well, there we go, guys. That was another episode of three random games, and this was probably the pinnacle of three random games. I always enjoy making these videos. I say it like the end of every single one just because of the variety. Even though they were all like horror, they were all very unique. All right, guys, we're going to leave this one here anyway, but if you did enjoy this episode, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.